Is it going to be this dark or is it going to? We live? Yes. Oh, hey. We're, we're sorry. We're using the GoPro live tonight uh, instead of our other webcam. And so we're not used to the picture on it on the screen. Um, let us know how the picture looks. We think it looks maybe a little dark, but it could be that the colors are just deeper and more vibrant. I don't know. I think that might be it. Yeah. Because it did uh, go lighter once we went live. Okay, perfect. Um, well, hi, welcome to Side Dish. I'm Doug Bookie, your host, and cool dude, just gentle. Uh, <laughs> with me, as and always, so modest. Uh, is Amy behind the camera running production, and Denise, just for whatever else I need, she's a, our runner, production assistant, you know, just general pep. Um, tonight is episode 25. What? Somebody let me do 25 of these. <laughs> What is happening? Yeah, her no, name's Amy. Nobody was her. like, nobody was like, <laughs> no, come on, you have to stop. What are you doing? Um, a lot of you actually seem to enjoy this show, so we're going to keep doing it. Uh, we had a goal, which we're going to meet next week, actually, is to do 26 of these, which is half a year, six months, and see how it was. If it was still fun, then we would continue doing them. And I don't know, guys, are we having fun? I think so. We're having fun. This is fun. All right. A lot of you reached out like in off offline and things like that, and, you know, made it made the point of it's sort of like in the in the trying times we live in with the pandemic that we can't see the people we love. So they think like, oh, we get to see you. It's only one way, though, folks. So sometimes <laughs> if I'm a little exuberant when I see you, that's why. Um, but for episode 25, I wanted to do something that, you know, it's, it's not it's not like, fancy fancy but it is something that is really good and if you go to a restaurant and get it you normally get it at a restaurant we're doing fried rice pork fried rice yeah um it's gonna be delicious wash your hands please yes that's my next thing um so the thing about this is it's not terrible to put together so like i pre-made the rice only because i wanted it cool um but you could do this in the instant pot which i recommend if you have an instant pot it's the easiest way to make rice i've ever this is about five cups, so maybe a little bit more of cooked rice. Um, that, and go ahead. Denise is right, because that's jasmine rice. Yes, it is. And it really smells fantastic, yeah. almost like popcorn. Yeah. And um, I, I've done this recipe. It's basically three cups of rice, three cups of water, a teaspoon of salt, and what like a teaspoon or tablespoon of whatever oil. I put butter, a, a teaspoon of butter, or a tablespoon of butter in here. I put it in there in the Instant Pot, which I put away, but it's five minutes. It'll come up to pressure. You let it cook for five minutes, comes up, let it sit for five minutes or 10 minutes, and then let the release valve go, and you got perfect rice. And then you just fluff it, and it's perfect. It, there's no burnt parts. It's not sticking. It's really, really good. I, rec I definitely recommend doing that before you. Because, well, we, I mean, if you're, if you're doing it day out, you want it cool because then the rice is not like steaming hot when you're trying to handle it. So, um, with that, I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, it's gotten colder here in Reno and Sparks, and uh, it's not great. The wind was blowing like Comanche last night. But not a single drop of moisture no, here. No, it was supposed to rain a little, 40% chance, and that went to nowhere. But um, the thing that is killing us is that at five o'clock it's dark and it's like, what do you do for that many hours of darkness? I grew up in Alaska, so I know about lots of darkness. That's why I don't live there because I can't handle that. I don't. I have to go to bed at seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I printed out a comic once that I saw online that it was a person <laughs> of, a, of a woman talking to her husband and yelling, oh my God, is it midnight? And he, he responds was, no, it's only five. Or seven or whatever it was. Five. But, yeah. Either way, this this daylight savings is for the firm. We should just get rid of it. We should have ripped it off with all the craziness happening here on day uh, for uh, 2020. Been done with it. If there's any farmers out there watching this show, I'm sorry I've offended your way of life with the daylight savings. I don't think they care anymore either. I don't think so. If there's and, machinery. You know. Now. You know what? You know what the thing is. Cows don't care if it's light or dark when you go out and see them and feed them. That's what I figured out. All right, so. Wash hands. I got to wash my hands. The next thing is uh, make sure there's a couple of pre-things that we're going to do. Um, one of those 
is again make the rice. The other is I got a little dish that I've already mixed it together. It's a little sauce. It's really simple. Um, it's it's like honey, hot water, sesame oil, soy sauce, dark soy sauce, which we didn't have any dark soy sauce. And I think dark soy sauce is just thicker. Yeah. I, no, what does it mean, dark soy sauce? I don't know. I know that it's a thing that I've used before, but then, you know, you use it for one thing and then you get rid of it because you never use it again because when are you making that thing? And then again? you look at the thing and it's like, used by 2012. Right, and you're like, oh, this is 2020. <laughs> it's been in my house for eight years. So we, I will admit, every so often, like a <laughs> quarterly or maybe every six months, we do go through our fridge and look at our, our condiments and go, this one's from like 2012 or 2808. So, um, okay. So this, so this is what I'm talking about. This is just, a, it's really that. So dark soy sauce, white pepper, and then that's it. Um, Let's see, where are you? There you are. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. It smell good? I mean, it smells like soy sauce and sesame oil. I mean. Well, sesame oil smells good. It does smell good. Um, I do have an onion. We're gonna fry. We're gonna saute that up. For the veg, we're just using. We're gonna use peas and carrots and uh, two scallions. We're gonna use the whole thing. I might do. It. I might do that. You know when you get uh, Asian food or like Chinese food and it's got the yeah side. We're gonna do that. I don't think it's fancy. Um, and then a clove of garlic, which I'm gonna cut up really. I might actually do the the um, salt thing that Ooh, we talked about because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna go in there and we want it to kind of melt. And disappear. So we're gonna do that. I'm sorry. Did you talk about what was in that bowl? Butter. Right? Oh, this is just butter. Okay. It's half a stick. Um, I want to say about the frozen veggies. Sometimes yeah. we've used like the mix that has green beans and lima beans and yeah. whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's what you like. I was gonna say that too. I mean, we like peas and carrots. I like. I, I kind of actually like it with all the mixed vegetables in there. You get a little variety. Don't use it at all. I mean, this you um. This recipe that there's amalgamation of a few recipes, but some of them, you know, get like bean sprouts because in restaurant style fried rice, they usually have like. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Why don't we ever do that? I don't know. Never think about and that. I went to the store to get the to get this with the the green onions and a couple other things, and had the recipe in my hand, and it says beans on it, uh, bean sprouts. I didn't get them <laughs> because I, I. Here's what I did. I was like this. Because it's. And it's it says, 2020. And I was like, oh, yeah, I got all the way home. And I was like, ah, oh, that's disappointing. I don't want to have to turn around. Um, and then for protein, this thing. Okay. So, you know, when you go to Chinese food and you get that delicious pork that's like, oh, this is it. This is the, it's um, char sui. That's uh, Chinese. Huh? It's just barbecue pork, but it's, who taught you how to say that? Did they teach you at the market? No. I, I, listen, did you Google it? No. Did you say pronounce and then no, you put that in? I did not, I did, I did how did you know it. then? Because that's not how you were pronouncing it this afternoon. How was I saying it? Char suey. Yeah, char suey. That's what I said. <laughs> You're such a nut. Anyways, I, you. <laughs> um, I went to an Asian market today looking for this very thing because I was. you can make this yourself and they, I found a recipe to do so. But it needs to marinate for overnight. That looks like a meat mitten. Actually, it, <laughs> it looks, looks like a thumb. I, know. I think it looks like That's a whale. Like a okay, well, that makes me feel better than a meat mitten. Anyways, That's it's a, weird. It's good to the eye right here. That's why it looks like a whale. Anyways. <laughs> what was the market called? Do you remember? It was just called Asian Market on Prater? Yeah. Um, I do go to Yim's Market on... Uh, Rock as well here oh, in town. Uh, Ray says no E sound. Tarsu? No E. You're in there Tarsu? with an E. Tarsu? Well, from our resident uh, Chinese friend, Ray, we have the correction. So okay. thanks, Ray. I appreciate it. So wait, before you start, we have some comments on haircuts. Um, oh, oh, Doug, yeah. Doug and I each got about six inches cut off. So yeah. <laughs> I was looking, so we, we realized we didn't read book with our- uh, Actually, our she book. realized it when she saw us. Yeah, that's, that's right. When we were making green bean <laughs> casserole, she was watching it on, on Sunday morning. It was like, uh, I probably should contact him. He's looking a little shaggy. So this 
is helping our life because we would have just, I just continued, my hair would have just gotten longer and longer. And by the next year, you'd have been like, what is happening to him? He's, the, he's we can see the, the fall of him during the whole thing. Um, the other thing is we're going to just scramble, really uh, uh, scramble some eggs. I got three of them here. Um, so in, like I said, the other thing that's in this, um, this mix is uh, cooking sherry, but um I find that a Xiao, really weird addition. Xiaojing wine, which is a, a Chinese cooking wine, uh, that it or dried cooking cherry, it says. But I couldn't find that anymore. I even looked at, at the, You went to two Asian markets I did, today. So. And I could not find it. But I'm sure that it, it, maybe it's called something else, or I didn't, you know, it was in Chinese and I couldn't read it. Um, a you lot didn't of, ask for help? Yeah, that place, both of those places were packed. And no one is supposed to be out. Well, I know. Everybody was wearing masks, so that's good. But there were a lot of people out for people who were not supposed to be out today. Oh, so wait. Um, yes. John is asking about, hold up, about some markets. The brand setters do go to Yim's. Yim's is good. I think they have a lot of Where's good stuff. Where's that? That's, a, that's the one on Rock. It's really hard to get oh, to. Oh, that's, that's the one I just said. You tried rock, but it didn't work. Right, they didn't. They, they didn't have it today. And, oh, also, they didn't have um, their credit card machine wasn't working. So oh, that, that was the problem. Well, they also did not have any uh, shark food. They didn't have any meat mittens. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're a serial killer, and that's like <laughs> I'm going to put on my meat mittens. <laughs> weirdos. Oh, Yim's is. Uh, Ray's mom approved. Okay, so I will continue. We, I will say this, Ray. Normally we go to Yen's, and that's where, like, because they have a really good selection of a lot of stuff. I just could not find the the pork today. <clears throat> I don't know if I was looking in the wrong place. Now I will tell you this was not in a case. It was just sitting in a kind of a basket near the front that said barbecue pork. It was cool, but it was not refrigerated. So if we all get sick. Well, well um, it's fine. It's fine. It's already cooked. It was probably, it, it was warm when I got it. Let's put it that way. So the, warm? Not warm, warm, but like cooked. Like it was like came out of like, yeah. What are we talking about? Oh, jeez. It, it's probably going to work. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, I'm very nervous. All right. FYI, when I make this, I use a ham steak. <laughs> she does. But I wanted, I'm, we're going restaurant. I wanted to go restaurant style and more like, and, and try it there. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, let's get just get into okay. it. I hope everybody's good. I'm gonna slice there's, this. There's some agreement about it being cured, and so we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm gonna just eat some because I love this stuff. Oh my god, look at that. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like it will kill you. It looks good. Let's see the inside. Show oh, folks what it right. looks like on the inside. So when I go. So one thing about this camera is like you're further away. Oh well. I don't. It's good. We can see more of what you're doing. Okay. It's a clearer picture. Does everybody agree it's a clearer picture? Ray says he's had way more questionable. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would I would probably get yeah. that straight. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the first definitely one, clear it. People like the picture better. We definitely want <laughs> to get this walk going. So what I need, I'm gonna get let that heat up. I read today, and Ray, you can confirm this, being, you know the son of a former Chinese restaurant re restaurateur that you should have your walk kind of screaming hot when you're doing this as you're not, you know, you can't do that as much as you can at a restaurant because they've got those special walk burners. It's like crazy. I also love the Chinese food restaurants that have like, it's literally just the sink and like the burners. And like, I'm like this, this setup is like a dream for a guy like me. It's just like water right there. You just like, and they're moving and grooving, man. For a guy like you that doesn't care about facial hair or eyebrows? That's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to be fine, everyone. Um, so the, the, I, while that's heating up first, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to – let me get this salt. I don't like that wok because it, I like the ones that have, like, one handle on the side. But Preferably, the I'm, one we had with one handle was too thin, right? So we got rid of it. Yes. So, oh, you're doing that thing. Yeah, we talked about this last week, I think it was. Um, so I'm just crushing this. 
and I'm going to give it just a just a rough chop, and then I'm also going to chop it again. Um, oh, speaking of uh, like garlic and things like that, if you're a little gardener out there, uh, you can go if you can order garlic starts online or start from seed. And right now is a great time to do it because then they'll be ready. You'll have they'll overwinter and they'll be ready for spring, late spring. You mean outside? You could do it outside. Oh, because alliums like onions and things like that, they don't care about that. They'll the the green part is inconsequential it'll grow back what was that big thing that you uh you know those big flowers that you have drying those, in the those were garlic I found oh, they're so they were so pretty when you brought them in yeah i was sad when you just marched them through the house and then took them out to the garage instead of displaying them. <laughs> well they were also you know they, right. they were ready to go so uh i'm just gonna can you see yeah we can totally see that's what i'm saying this camera is okay like further away and we can see way more of what you're doing so really what i'm doing is i'm just starting at the edge here and i'm just i got three fingers on the blade i got one finger here sort of kind of in really good grip and i'm just putting pressure with the three fingers and i'm dragging it towards me and what i'm getting is this kind of i'm getting a paste okay now that you should show us a little closer yeah let me, so that's what we're getting but okay. it's going to get even better so what the salt is going to be good because we need it to go. We're going to make, put it in with the, um, the. We're going to put the butter in with the eggs and everything. Let that cook. That's and then sesame oil is going to be in there after the onions, and then everything's going to come together. But this is. Uh, I want to salt. I want to salt it here because it's acting as an abrasive. And it is. I'm helping you mash all that up. Yeah. Exactly. So again, just gonna. Make sure that we, you can do, it's kind of, it's kind of a nice, it's just a strike, which is great. What we want is we want that. Oh, isn't that bad for your blade? Oh, you just did. Like that? Oh. No, never mind. That's blades. I'm not in charge of the blades, so I don't know why I care. <laughs> so, right. That's pretty much what I want. It's, it's pretty much paste now. So now I'm going to just come through here and I'm going to just right there, right in the butter. So good. So that's just another way, to, you know, another vessel for, for garlic and how to process it. So what I, uh, I need a tablespoon, sesame. There you go. Yeah, this stage work is. Oh, tough. maybe you should turn the light on over the over that. It's real dark back there for some reason. Yeah, that helps a bit. All right. So that's letting that kind of get to, and then we're gonna throw. Now, if you don't have a wok, you could just have a big. Pan. You could just have a big pan. So I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit now that it's. And ASMR. Get it moving, folks. Okay, what are you looking for there? Um, what I'm, I just am trying to get it sauteed to a, you know, just kind of loosen. Um, the nice part about these, the woks, is you've got like the the heat carries up the side, and so you got this great cooking area, and. Again, this is, don't judge me, Ray. I know that I'm not, that I'm, you know, I'm as white as I come, but I, I do wish that, like, I knew more uh, Asian cuisine of all types because it's one of, like, it's my favorite, I think kind of my favorite genre of, like, non-Americanized food. I like Thai food. I love sushi. It's, like, my favorite food. So... I'm willing to try most anything. Um, so I don't know. Don't judge me. I'm just I'm learning. No one's judging. Right. Well, John I, I, says that sizzling sound sounds like victory. It really does. And it's the hot. It's you know. It's also so hot, and you're getting that deliciousness here. All right. That is hot, but I'm gonna. I want to get 
these eggs a quick scramble here. Come on now. Um, I want to do a live stream soon uh, from my phone to like somewhere else, but that because I can't do it. To, what uh, are you doing? You're mashing that. That thing is just not. They're not. They're not playing today. Um, to like Facebook or somewhere like that because I can't do a live stream to YouTube. But um, I'll show you my worms. My worm oh, farm. Worms. Um, they're my they're, worms. they're crazy good. I, you know, not they're not for everybody, but I'm I'm like recycling. Just eggs, nothing else in there. Nope, just eggs. Because the flavor is coming. These are kind of anemic looking. Yes, eggs. the worms do eat eggshells. They do. It's grit. So worms need like chickens, and you know, chickens will eat pebbles and put them in their gullet in their gizzard, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, but we mortar and pestle them. Yeah. So the last couple of times, I've actually just put them in the old uh, blender. Oh, smart. And then. There's enough of them. Yeah. Um, and then coffee grounds, they'll do that. But I just bought a, um, I bought a paper shredder because the the amount of cardboard they need for bedding is is a lot. And so, uh, yeah. So I'm going to uh, when these get to a certain stage, I'm actually going to take these out, then put the egg in, and then. But I wanted to get these going so that then everything is sort of ingredient-wise ready to go back in when we're ready. So. I believe that Ray Lee is trying to start some, some uh, I don't know, some controversy here. He'd like to know your favorite, your favorite of all the Asians. Um, I don't know. Ray Lee is my favorite of all the Asians. Really? I'm just gonna, you're just going to throw? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I can't decide. <laughs> I have so many great Asians in my life. So I think you I have mean, like two, but that's cool. If I had, if I had, what are you talking about? I have like, I have like four. Okay. Okay. I didn't know. Four more. I mean, where'd your paper shredder come from? Asking for a friend. Amazon. Amazon, but it's the kind that makes it's, the strips. Yeah, it makes the strips. Not so it's the not other. really the safe kind. Yeah. But if you want to do it for composting. Yeah, it's really, really good because it's just, and I did. Well, you know how Amazon these days are doing the. <laughs> Ted is trying to claim that the Turks are his favorite Asians. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> uh, Tom Cruise is my favorite Asian, says John. I like the Mongolians. <laughs> All right. Very delicious. So that's our butter and garlic yum yum. Yep. And again, I gotta work fast. You wanna work faster because that you don't want that garlic to, to burn. burn. And so that's all I'm, I'm giving it. And really? You're you're really just going to get this. Because the reason I took the I took those out is because um, I did not want the onions to be like the coated in the egg. I want the onions to be separate. That's what okay. So. Your your thing's not really centered on the burner. Do you care? I mean, yes, okay. I do. But. So I'm just I'm swirling here <clears throat> to get swirling. as much of the egg surface area covered here. Um, there's controversy about eggs, like when they're done and when they're not done, and like people say, like, oh, you shouldn't let it go too far in the pan, like they'll cook on their way to the plate. I, turn, I do normally, when I'm cooking, like, scrambled eggs, I will get them to right before they're, like, done done, and I'll turn the heat off, because then they'll, the carryover heat will finish cooking them in the pan. But these, oh, man. I'm not going to lie to you. It smells real great in here. Um, I'm getting super excited for, like, the flavor. So, um, do, 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 do. Oh, so this is next. We are going to just, I'm going to do, I think this is like a little less than a, this might be like a poundish. So you're going to well, do. you could weigh it and find out. I could weigh it. I, don't, I mean, I paid for it. It was less than $9.99 a pound, which is what it was a pound. So, I mean, technically. You still have your sheet there, so I don't have to wash that? No. Your plastic wrap is right there. Oh, well, it's going to skew the weight. 12 ounces. So, Not quite a pound. Yeah. All right. 
I'm going to throw it because everything's going back in. I'm just going to take the egg out now, throw it in with the onions, and then we'll. Oh, I like how you're reusing that bowl. I know, I know. Nicely I knew, done, I knew sir. That that would be oh, nice. yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So I am going to turn that off for now because um, I want to. You're looking for. This is the crazy part. You're looking for like a half inch. Yeah. So, so it's chunks. You know. I don't know, something like something like that. You could probably. Chunk I think it up. I would have. Well, it doesn't matter. What would you have done? <laughs> Listen, this is a community effort. I would have cut the slice, like, okay. as you did. Okay. And then I would have laid it. Yes, yeah, exactly. So yeah. Great minds think. Yep. Great minds think alike. Okay. So, I'm probably. I'm gonna. I, I'm not going to put all 12 ounces in there. I'm no, but are you going to do like half of that at least? The reason why is because... You want them to mount. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, this is a guilty pleasure of mine. There's a, the, What's the sauce, though? Like, when you get it as like a appetizer, it has like a sticky red sauce. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like, uh, if it's like a uh, chili oil or, or what. Anybody out there in the... Interwebs know what it is. Yeah, Ray. Want to tell us? Oh, Jack. yeah. Cut that thumb off. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy yeah. says it's ketchup. It's not ketchup, <laughs> Theodore. It, I'm pretty sure it's not ketchup. Now, I've been to some pretty low rent ketchup and soy sauce. That's what I was thinking. Pretty low rent sugar. Um, red number five. Uh, yeah. Chinese food restaurants in which. Basically, all they've given you for sweet and sour sauce it is kind of is ketchup and is that what Ray says? Chinese barbecue sauce. It kind of is. Okay. Is it an equivalency to ketchup, or is it like based on? Do ketchup? we have some of that? I don't know. Ketchup in yeah. there in the pantry? Uh, no, I don't think so. Mm. Have to look. I'm gonna go three quarters of this, I think, because there's four of us. There's a lot of, there's five cups of rice. So this. But is, that's not the main protein, though. So this is not the you main do, protein? You do, you. Not of dinner. No, we do have. This is a yeah. side dish. I, yes, I know that. But I'm just saying that, you know, I like to have a lot of it. Um, <clears throat> we are doing, uh, I got some general style chicken and some orange chicken in a bag. Don't judge me. I just don't have time for that. And I can never get those sauces right. And no, and Ray, I've known him for so long, and he's never given me a recipe. So because know, Ray's recipes feed like a hundred people. I can I can figure out ratios. <laughs> I'm not dumb. All right. Back on the heat. We are going to make sure the onions and the egg go back in. We're adding the rice, and we're going to add the pork. Ray says, I remember ketchup and soy are the base. <laughs> and John says, now this is a good point, that watching you slice one slice at a time and cube it was kind of bothering him as far as efficiency goes. But this is about being in the moment and paying attention to what you're doing. And yeah, I'm not worried about efficiency. So it's okay. Take a deep breath. You'll be all right. Yeah, efficiency. I mean, listen. If you're looking to be efficient while you cook because you're on a time time limit, then pre-chop sure. it. But I, you know, I want it to, you know, have basically uniform pieces, and or you know, not. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah, those are uniform. Yeah, pretty much. They're pretty much the same size. Um, these little ones. These are going to be good because they're going to be like crispy bits. Mm. Crispy bits. Um, so before. Yeah. Before I get the rice in there, which is coming next, I want to mix it up here first. And because then it's going to start to, this is where the, where I think the good happens because everything's going to start to crisp up a little bit on the outside, like the Maillard reaction and things. Yes. What is happening out there? Nothing. We're teasing John. Oh. Yeah, John. Teasing, yeah, teasing, John, teasing. efficiency no. expert. I think not. <laughs> Is that what? Who said that? <laughs> Adriana and yeah. I. Um, opinions may vary on that front. He says. Yeah. Hey, what about these frozen veggies? What the, are you gonna do? Oh, with that's them? good. They should go in now. That's true. Are you gonna thaw them? No. They're gonna cook just fine because I've had them out. 
Plus the heat is high enough there. They're pretty much, I mean, they're thawed. They're cold, but they're thawed. So, all right there? Okay. You make your face. You do you? The whole back? Yeah, all right. It's healthy. We need health. Like I said, this is high heat. This should, we may need a bigger walk next time, but maybe the kid, we can get a bigger walk that'll fit our spider. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was saying. Like, you know, our you, big pan, you, like you could make it in that and you'd have more space. Yes. You'd have more space. I don't know if you can see, uh, but we did receive a extra large walk, which I've showed you before. But we hung it in a place. Uh, spider, an extra large spider. An extra large spider. And the reason it's hanging there is because it's not practical to use with any dish that I have. So now And also it doesn't it. fit in any cupboard. Right. That is the other thing. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, so you're gonna do those. What is it called? Uh, is that chiffonade, right? I don't when you know. do it at an angle like that, uh, please I, help someone. It, yeah, probably, but I don't. I mean, those are pretty. That's that's the French, and I don't. I mean, is French? I mean, they were colonialists like the British. I know that French has a plays a big uh, role in no, no, Vietnamese wait. food. Chiffonade is ribbons. Yeah. So that's not it. That's when you like roll the herbs, right? And then you cut them into ribbons. Sure. So I don't know what that is. But no, French cut beans are cut like that. Yeah. Green beans. Um, I don't know. Nobody's helping. Oh, wait, wait. Is there any reason this wouldn't work in a paella pan? I mean, it's got enough surface area, so I suppose it would be fine. No, except for I don't own a paella pan. Yeah. The biggest paella pan I ever saw was at Bob and Weston's wedding. Uh, Whitefield's wedding. That thing, I swear to God, it was as big as... <laughs> that thing was awesome. It was as big as a wagon wheel. Like an old school wooden wagon wheel. It was that big. And that guy yeah, was, that was expert good. at wheel wheel. So, um, I'm, just, I'm just preparing these because these go in towards the end. Again, that's how they get that, keep their vibrant color, right? And have that fresh flavor. Yeah, which is what, that's the difference we're looking for, too, is that these are going to have, you know. Something fresh. Yeah. Freshy fresh. So, I don't know. Yeah, in sewing, it would be called, like, cutting on the bias, but yeah. I don't know what it's called in so. cooking. Those look good. Those do look good, don't they? All right, I'm going to add. All of this rice. It's so And how much. much is it? Five cups, you said? Five cups cooked. There is conversion. five cups before it was cooked? Nope. No, five, five cups, cups cooked. cooked. Three cups uncooked. Okay. So check. Where's this cooking sherry come into the mix? It's in the mix. It's in the, oh. in the sauce. That little bit of sauce is all you're gonna put on there? That is what the recipe calls for. We're going to see what yeah. it looks like. We have dress it up. soy sauce. You better get that out. And I got it. I got it. Okay. Um, we're going to dress it up. Don't worry. I shouldn't be a doubter, but I am. And if you wanted more soy sauce at the end of it, <clears throat> you know. Ah, Sandra says pro tip, day old rice. That's the other, yeah. So we talked about that today when we were, after we made the rice. How, like, you could, with the Instant Pot like that, holy crap, you could make like that at the beginning, like three cups at the beginning of the week, and you could really, <laughs> what is happening? John is worried that this walk is not up to the challenge you have given it. <laughs> it it's clumped. It's going to be okay. It's clumped. It's going to come together. I understand what you're No, doing. you just don't have enough room to move stuff around. That's what I said, like the big, I think maybe next I'm time. committed. Here we are, folks. I'm committed I know. to this. I, I appreciate the fact that you're not switching pans, so I don't have another thing to clean. But I'm just <laughs> listen. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to, you know, you're doing wonderful. You're doing it. Great. I'm trying to, trying to. I'm, I'm keep being conscious of my wife and Denise's time and, uh, after the fact of having to make, you know, dishes and or not make dishes. I make the dishes. They have to clean them, and so. Five minutes. You want this rice to come back up. And then, but the other thing to keep in mind is like, it's got to fry. 
There is just a lot of sass about this uh, walk. Listen, I can't do anything about it, folks. This is what I, I don't even know where we got that. I, I, it came from somebody or came from somewhere, and here it is. So it's it's mixing just fine. Well, nobody is questioning. Oh, your, yeah. Your oh, yeah. There's a lot of questions. I'm almost guaranteed <laughs> that people are guaranteeing that I've made a wrong decision. And I think it's probably led by Ted Hoist and followed up by John. Actually, actually it's led by uh, John and Sandor. Okay. Well, that makes more. That also makes sense because the three of them together probably would. I would They're really, conspiring I against wouldn't you. Survive. I don't think so. I think right. you're fine. Oh, Piper's making an appearance. Oh, out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. This is doing just fine. I've, I have thoroughly mixed all of the vegetables and broken up most of the rice pieces. And you have kept 99% of it That's in right. the wine. That's very impressive. Okay, get some sauce in there, sir. Hold on, I've got it like five minutes. Really, before you put the sauce yeah. in? Yes. Yeah. How's it gonna get all yucky in there? It's good, believe me, it's gonna do its thing. It's all gonna come together. So <laughs> I'm gonna, it's, I'm gonna mix this up because I don't want it to. I don't want stuff to sell. Um, if we need to dress it more, we will. But let's do this and see where it goes. Would you like double of that? I know you would. Okay, so remind us again what's in there. Uh, it's honey, hot water. So one tablespoon of hot water, one teaspoon of honey, one teaspoon of sesame oil, uh, one teaspoon of the cooking sherry. Uh, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of soy sauce uh, and one tea, one quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Can I smell that cooking sherry, please? Sure. I mean, it has 17 Do people percent. cook with this? I mean, do you? I don't know. It has 17 with this? It does say don't buy it to drink it, but it does have 17% alcohol in it. It just smells like wine. Yeah. So, ooh, you hear that crinkly? It probably is wine. Someone's gonna correct me. No, it's say cherry. It's, it's wine. drinking wine. Cherry is a wine. Yeah, it's a type of. Yeah. yeah. It looks like when uh, white wine gets hot in your trunk because you forgot it was there, and then you try to open it later and drink. Why? It. Why does Amy know this, everyone? <laughs> Hey, lots of people have been there. Yeah. All right. So, so I suppose this is the fried yeah. part. Plus oh, yeah, no fish sauce in this. No fish sauce. It didn't ask for fish sauce. I have fish sauce. Ray, would you recommend putting fish sauce in it? What is fish sauce? It's literally pressed fish and, the, and salt, and the liquid that comes out of it is fish sauce. Fish sauce is a big thing in Whole30. Yes, because it's... Oh, I said whole. what's in fish sauce and Rick said everything. <laughs> we you, have some. We do have some. So, All right. I'm going to evenly distribute here. Ish. Well, I'm going to toss it. It's going to come together. But... You're gonna toss it? No, no, I'm not gonna. No, 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 no not that. Oh, fancy. I thought you're gonna be like that fancy. Whoop, whoop. Do I look insane? I mm -hmm. thought that's not the right handle for that. No. <clears throat> so I cheat and I use the you know uh, fried rice packets sometimes seasoning packets. So we looked at it closely today because we happen to have one. And what we discover, it's mainly rice flour. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> for bulk. Garlic. Garlic and powder. Bay leaf and something and bay leaf, salt, pepper. And then the very, very, very paprika. last paprika. was paprika. Oh, and sugar. Which you put honey in there, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. So don't waste your money on that. Yeah. Is what we learned. Now, this is not as dark as you would probably see, but I'm going to let it continue to cook because it'll darken up as it sort of fries on the outside. And it looks, I'm not going to lie to you right now, it smells unreal. It smells really good, yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> Denise put some pork there for okay. you to taste if you want to. 
uh, toss, and this is the time where it says to toss in the surround legs. But we don't do that. We want to distribute them um, and the scallions. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for it to sort of get hot on the bottom of my toss. I'm gonna spoon it over again. And oh, then, you made that move like you were gonna whoop. Yeah, but that if it was less less yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't want to clean in that. there. Please don't do that. And yeah. Olga's not coming on Monday. So that is true. Olga is not coming on Monday. Everybody should have an Olga. The sweetest. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 See how it's got a little bit of the brown. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You little... better move that around, or else that's gonna turn to burn. Yeah, but that looks good. And that's what I was looking. So, oops. Again, it's all large, right. We have dogs. Larger walk would have helped with this. <laughs> John says that Piper called them, and she wants you to toss it. I was just gonna <laughs> say that. <laughs> The doggy sharks are circling. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. Is there more sauce that you would add? Oh, like, man, is... Or did your family would add Ray in the restaurant to, you know, or is it, or is it the frying and the moving and all that that helps brown it up and give it that? I don't know. I think it's kind of coming together. I think to you should taste it. You want to taste it right now? No, I think you should taste it and decide if it needs like another batch of that sauce or if it's good and yeah. people can uh, do it themselves. Come on. You know, because I like stuff way saltier than you do. So I'm, of course, going to add soy sauce. I would, uh, I would make more. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna, are you going to turn that down or you're just sure going to try to do it? Okay. So, all right. Ray also says lots of tossing. Yeah. Well, again, I wish I had a, you know. So but we're catering to folks at home too and they don't, not everybody has a gigantor setup. So. True. One teaspoon of this. Which is sesame oil. Yep. <laughs> One teaspoon of the cherry. Maybe give this one some fish sauce. Ooh, maybe. That's a great idea. Soy sauce. And while I'm over here, let's give it a little stir. Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells so good. Is the fish sauce in there? In, in the where? No, it's in the refrigerator. Oh. I get it. Um... It is, I think, oh, I don't right know. Here. Yeah. Use what you have open. Don't open two of them. That's a, that's a thing we love to do around here. <laughs> All right. Sad but true. Did you find it? Yeah, I put it right there. Oh, sure. Uh, it, guys doing small Thanksgivings? Thanksgiving by yourself? Anything? Are you going to, you know? I, no traveling for the most part, I would imagine. Our Thanksgiving is much more intimate than normal. So, honey, 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 honey. Woody, 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 woody. Make sure that you have good honey. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet you were. Oh, are you going to talk about the honey? Yes, it is. Okay. From, well, this is from Trader Joe's. But it's, oh. Um, it's orange blossom honey. So it's not as fancy. As the, the okay, honey. never mind. There is some. Ah. That's not the, Jamie, or the uh, Jacobson's. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving is canceled. Popeye's Cajun Turkey, Ooh. Sandor. Popeye's Cajun turkey. I mean, I do I'm, not even blame canceled Thanksgiving on Obama, brat. Oh wait, that's a small one. I am gonna use a small one. I'm just gonna eyeball it, but don't do that. Don't do that, you nutter. 
Tony Wiz down. Tony Wiz tried to take a differ. Oh, yeah, that's it. All right. Fish sauce. I already added. Like, oh, okay. Three, How much? I added three pumps. Three pumps. Like yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I think it's going to really need it. So. I'm going to turn the heat back up. Sorry for my back. Huh. What? Did you taste it? No, it really is anchovy, sea salt. Those are the ingredients. Yeah. That's it. I wouldn't lie. Well, it's just interesting, isn't it? It's aged and kind of fermented, I mean, over time. Oh, it is? Yeah. They basically put them in large presses. It doesn't smell bad. And then uh, over time, the presses, they have it, and it's the same. There's weight on the top or there's a wheel, and they spin it down until it compresses, compresses, compresses over time, and then it, I mean, that's how they do soy sauce, basically. Extra virgin, first press, Vietnamese fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, yeah. That's a good color on it, too. It's better than it was. But I'm going to let the heat come back up and then let it sip. God, there could be a lot of fishing ingredients out of the oven here. Oh, speaking of, uh, so I was talking to Colton, if you're out there. Um, we were, he found a, a specialty place that will custom make a grill top for your stove or a cooktop uh, that's actually really, really reasonable. Uh, it's what, did, what did we say it was? Still, still steel? SealtopUSA.com or something like that. I gotta look it up. But anyways, I was like, that's like 170 bucks. And they'll like it's custom made. You send them the, and then they send it to you. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna have then <laughs> next time when I make breakfast, I'm gonna have pancakes and hash browns, everything on it. It's gonna be like a diner in here. Oh goodness. So <laughs> What's going on? Y'all know that if we lived in Alaska, Doug would have taken over the family restaurant business and he'd be slinging burgers for a living right now. Probably. I mean, we're, um, we're on the farm somewhere. But he'd also be, well, he wouldn't be married to me. And uh, I'm sure we'd still have a great life, though. Sure. But I'm glad he's not there. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is ostensibly done. Except for the last little part here, which is yeah. these. And I'm just, these are getting the gentle toss at the end. And. Magic. Spooky. Okay. I'm just gently tossing these in there just to sort of move them through the. Not really giving them a ton of heat because the heat from the rice and everything is going to really kind of cook them to where they're not so uh, I don't know, like overpowering uh, onion. Liquid. So I am excited. same time, if you were going to use the bean sprouts, you put them in at this time, too. I'm going to turn the heat up, but I'm going to let it do its thing real quick. I want to talk about next week. I want to talk about you putting all the lids on all these bottles of things and putting them away. <laughs> That's later. <laughs> While you talk about next right. week. So next week is episode uh, 26, which is uh, six-month anniversary. We are going to be doing a remote live show from the Oregon coast in Bandon. Um, we are traveling to meet uh, Ted and Kim and their daughter, Carlia. Carlia, and we are going to have a little house retreat. Um, we've sort of already seen them this year, so we're I'm 99% sure that Ted doesn't have COVID. So. They're part uh, of our quarantine. That's it. That's the word I was looking for. But he's sort of, he's so we should be good. We're going to have some golf. We're going to have some good food. 
we have to figure out what we're still doing, um, but it'll be something a little special because we are near the or no, near the coast. So I want to do something that's going to be um, kind of a maybe that theme. We'll figure it out when there. But there will be a live episode. I'm gonna have to drive all my lights and the computer and everything with us. Oh, to, Lordy. It, don't worry, everything folds up into a bag. So it should be able to fold up and we should be able to be fine. But, um, so you'll wanna tune in. That also said, thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, I got everything out earlier and it seems like we have a, we have a bigger crowd tonight. So uh, it's really hard to do because you have to set up the stream and then you have to like have the camera. It's all, it's all crazy, but we're, we're figuring it out. Um, <laughs> and also I'm lazy and I sometimes don't figure out what I'm cooking until day out. This came to me in a dream this morning. That's the truth. Uh, Doug also <clears throat> doesn't put these big old lights away. Let's take a look at the lights. So it looks like we're filming adult films in here during or, the week. Or any other type of film. <laughs> I don't know why. Immediately, that's where your brain went. Um, Yours, too. Uh, no, I did not. You, you said it. And then I was like, I guess that's what you could see him for. But come on. Um, all right, let's, let's taste this. Yams and sweet potatoes, Sandor, do not go with seafood. No. And we're, the Thanksgiving series is over, man. Where you been? Did you say something about fans? Because Ray, Ray is asking about only fans. No, only fans is an adult site. And oh, yeah. oh, see? That's how clueless I am. Yeah. All right. I think this is going to be delicious. Oh, it's shoot. Hot, I just, well, I just gave some to the dogs because you gave me, this was too full for me, I guess. I wanted you to have a perfect bite. Well, I failed. Oh, that's good. I'd dress it with soy sauce at the table if you wanted yeah. to. But it's good depth of flavor, I think. Don't you? I think it's bland. Oh. But I like stuff more salty than you do. Yeah. So I think it's great. I would again, it's got I can the white pepper is there. I can taste everything. I think it, you're if you're cooking for this much for a crab. I think you leave it up to other people that's to exactly. add more soy sauce in that's exactly. to their taste. Yeah. yeah. Leave it out. Because you don't Denise doesn't like stuff really salty either. So I do love soy sauce. Oh, but she doesn't. Well, there you go. Sauce, so there you go. Um, I like. I think I want to do more of these Asian dishes. So Ray, please send us some recipes. And Teresa. And Teresa, and everybody else out there, if you've got a favorite dish that you know how to make, it's the sauces for me like that are daunting. But I. Um, I oh love yeah, seaweed salad. Oh. Oh, cucumber salad. I love it. That's so easy and it's so good. Yeah, it's vinegar. And, yeah, we could do that. And sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, Maybe we should do a bunch of salads. Well, if, uh, I'm sure Sandor is scoffing up a storm right now because I'm sure he's like, <laughs> salad. It's not a side dish. He's the rules police, apparently. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we made it through another episode, guys. We did. And I under an hour. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, it makes this so much fun. And it is like I get to see every week because you get to participate in all the things that we normally are chaos as it is. Um, so as we, you know, here we go. We're just uh, next week we're going to do something awesome. And hopefully, well, hopefully awesome. It'll be the same chaos except for Ted will be in the room, which will make the chaos <laughs> even more hijinks mm. and probably be yeah. more alcohol involved at least so thank you for showing up again what do i got oh i had a piece of rice, yeah, some rice perfect butter. that means you know it's good <laughs> um remember to uh, be kind to each other be loyal and go out and do something nice for somebody else this week and as we move towards thanksgiving think about donating to your local food banks oh, or yeah. any area any local charities that are providing food for the less uh the left privilege Fortunate. that we are. So, you know, it's it's a good cause. We have Evelyn Mount here in town, her organization. We also have a food bank and at the school I work at, and I got to pass out food yesterday. 
Yeah. It's really, 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 really fulfilling to do, to do that, to make sure that you're providing for that. So it it is the season and make sure that you're, you know, again, be kind, be loyal, and then we'll see you next week. I love you guys.